These are the kids who went against all odds and rules to accomplish things which not even grown-ups accomplished. Due to consistent hard work and a firm belief in their own talents, these kids earned worldwide fame and attention. Here are the top 30 genius kids who beat the system. Lawrence Simmons Lawrence Simmons is one of the most recent young college graduates. From Belgium, Simmons nearly graduated before his 10th birthday, but was unable to take the required test at his previous school of Edenhoven University. He went on to attend the University of Antwerp, where he just recently earned his bachelor's in physics at the age of 11. This little genius managed to complete his high school studies at the mere age of 8 in just 18 months. He is one of the youngest university graduates in the world. Half Belgian and half Dutch, Laurent Simmons have certified the boy as having an IQ of at least 145. In an interview to CNN, Lawrence's father, Alexander Simmons, revealed that the nine-year-old plans to get enrolled for a PhD program in electrical engineering, and along with that, he wants to pursue a degree in medicine. Many prestigious universities around the world have expressed interest in enrolling the young genius. His story has inspired others to pursue their passions and strive for excellence. Michael Kearney Get ready to be amazed by the story of Michael Kearney the Guinness world record holder for being the youngest college graduate ever. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii, Michael was homeschooled by his mother and diagnosed with ADHD at a young age. However, this child prodigy refused to let anything hold him back. Michael started reading at just 10 months old and completed his high school education in just one year. Yes, you heard that right, one year. He went on to earn a bachelor's degree in anthropology and not one but two master's degrees, one in chemistry from Middle Tennessee State University when he was just 14, and another in computer science from Vanderbilt University at the age of 18. Four years later, he earned his doctorate in chemistry from Middle Tennessee. Since then, Michael has been a game show contestant winning thousands of dollars and is currently a teacher's assistant in chemistry at Middle Tennessee State University. Anan Celeste Colley at seven years of age, Anan passed the O-level chemistry exam, which other kids normally take during their last year of high school. Anan became the youngest student ever to study chemistry at a tertiary level in the Polytechnic School. In 2010, Anan's family moved to Malaysia in order to pursue a less rigid higher education system for their brilliant child. Marco Callison. Marco currently holds 12 Microsoft certificates and one Cisco certificate. He received his first certificate at the age of six. In 2010, Marco wrote a book for the pre-installation, installation, and post-installation process of Windows 7. Jacob Barnett. Jacob is a top student currently working towards earning a PhD in quantum physics. The Wonder Boy graciously tutors fellow college classmates after class hours. He is a popular guest at study and review sessions. Jacob's mother, Christine Bennett, jokingly notes, I flunked math. I know this didn't come from me. Lawrence's son. Lawrence is a 16-year-old junior from Oregon. He will forego his high school final examinations to start at MIT this fall. This is not a joke. Yes, MIT. Previously, Lawrence captained his team in the 2013 Winter Online Open Math Challenge against 119 competing teams and won first spot. He plans on majoring in physics, computer science, and mathematics from MIT. Farrell Wu Wu's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to read through the encyclopedia while waiting for his parents to pick him up from school. The interesting fact is that last fall, Wu placed third in the Philippines Mathematical Olympiad at the age of 12. Currently, Wu takes private online tutoring sessions from a math professor at University of Michigan. We are aimed at undergraduate level linear algebra. Jack Andraka. He designed a sensor that searches for a chemical in blood that helps doctors detect diseases. Initially, close to 200 scientists rejected Jack's request for lab space until he convinced a researcher at Johns Hopkins University to be his mentor. Jack earned a handful of awards at Intel International Science and Engineering Fair and $75,000 in prize money. Marion Bechtel. Marion invented a special device, a repurposed landmine detector, which uses sound waves to determine where explosives are located. Marion said the invention surfaced in her mind when she hit certain notes on the piano and observed how the strings of a nearby banjo vibrated. 
The amazing fact is that her project earned her a spot among Popular Science Magazine's top 10 high school inventors of 2012. Phoebe Kai. This 15-year-old high school genius, Phoebe Kai is already engaged in college-level research. She assists in data analysis in ongoing research project at University of Pennsylvania Medical School. This past fall, Kai placed eighth in the Math Prize for Girls at MIT and was a bronze medalist for the Math Prize for Girls Olympiad. Isha Jane. By sixth grade, this super kid had already tackled college level coursework. By the age of 16, Isha was learning about how human limbs and growth spurts develop. Isha approached the subject by studying bone growth in zebra fish fins. She was later able to publish the findings of her study in the journal Developmental Dynamics, as well as win a cool $100,000 in scholarship prize. Eric Delgado. Instead of working with dangerous pathogenic bacteria, this extraordinary kid focused his research on the more common E. coli. One of Eric's teachers helped Eric get in contact with the best researchers in the country. Researchers were generous with support and advice. One taught Eric lab techniques to avoid hazardous chemicals. Another offered him a plant compound, which was known to disable pumps and other bacteria. Tewos Abie Gerichu. This 17-year-old teenager and his teammates recently placed first in a sub-city science fair for developing Cognitosoft. Cognitosoft is a software program that aims to introduce students to local Ethiopian languages. The bright side is that Gedachu scored in the 99th percentile of Ethiopia's national examination and placed first in the Gibson School System's World Math Day competition. Inderjit Kaur. Inderjit successfully led her team through several robotics competitions. Her victories include winning a gold medal in the International Symposium on Robotics and Intelligence Sensors 2012. Inderjit's team, Nanny Robot, made a device for monitoring a baby using sound and temperature sensors. The device was also designed to activate functions such as rocking the baby in a swing or contacting parents based on the child's cries. The ultimate fact is that Inderjit beat the educational system and did something truly amazing. Sahilam Ibrahim Sahila was recently accepted into Harvard, which makes her among the youngest students ever to attend the school. Also, she was accepted at 12 other colleges, including MIT, University of Pennsylvania, Cornell, Princeton, Columbia, and University of Chicago. In the end, Sahila chose Harvard, Interestingly, Sahila's decision was based on her brother's advice, who is seven years old. Joey Huddy. At only 16 years of age, this genius child has already won a number of awards for his engineering creations. The most recent of Joey's inventions was a solar-powered computer, which the boy displayed at the Sun Valley Solar Ultimate Challenge. Joey is currently completing his high school diploma, math and science track from Arizona State University. Noor Mohammed Shafiullah. Noor holds the record for being the youngest Bangladeshi student to compete in the International Mathematical Olympiad and the International Olympiad in Informatics. Outside of Olympiads, this 15-year-old math genius works at maths in Bangladesh. Noor is also a moderator of Bangladesh Mathematical Olympiad online student forum. Amazing indeed. Kensen Shi. This most amazing kid won first prize in the National Simians Competition in Math, Science, and Technology category in 2012. She placed sixth in Intel Science Talent Search Competition. She has also competed in a number of U.S. Mathematical Olympiads. She has a passion for playing the piano and has won the National Piano Audition from the National Guild of Piano Teachers twice. Raghav Sood. Raghav Sood taught himself HTML, CSS, and JavaScript at the age of nine. He initially focused on web development and later transitioned to mobile platforms. Currently, Raghav is 15, and he has been invited to attend Google's annual developer conference. In July 2012, he also published a paper on the subject, Pro Android Augmented Reality. The young boy is also the founder and CEO of Appaholics LLC. Shri Bose. 
Shri performed important research on the cancer drug cisplatin. This outstanding achievement won her first prize at the 2011 Google Science Fair and gave her the opportunity to present a TED Talk about her work. Shri has also been recognized by Glamour magazine as Young Amazing Woman of the Year. Colin Carson If you are Colin Carson, you're 16, and you've earned two bachelor's degrees and a master's degree, and you're working on your PhD thesis. Oh, and yeah, you're also doing an internship at Office of Policy for U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The teen prodigy has also won the Truman Scholar, a $30,000 scholarship granted for graduate study programs. Saitan Stan Chen Meet Saitan, a modern-day mathematical child genius. Saitan earned fame for winning Siemens Competition National Award twice. At the competition, Saitan managed a team which was set to solve a math challenge. It was reported that Saitan's performance was something judging mathematicians at the competition had not encountered in 70 years. Saitan also became the first ever mathematician in history of the event to win for two consecutive years. Nick Dialosio. Nick is a programming and algorithm whiz kid, started coding at age 12. Today, Nick is one of Yahoo's youngest employees. He also became one of Britain's richest teens after he sold his news reading and summarizing app, Sumly, to Yahoo for an estimated purchase price of 30 million. Catherine Di Maria. 12 years old Catherine convinced her parents to let her buy and begin restoring a 1986 Pontiac Fiero using the $450 she had saved up from babysitting. With her dad and uncle as her restoration partners, the young builder learned how to rebuild a car engine. Catherine's work earned her an invitation from General Motors to attend the prestigious 2013 Detroit Auto Show. Kelvin Doe. Kelvin started scouring trash containers to collect scraps of metal and electronic parts at the age of 11. Eventually, he gathered enough spare machinery parts to create mini generators. Totally, the list of his creations include an amp, a mixer, and auxiliary equipment enough to launch a one-person radio station. Due to these accomplishments, Kelvin's first trip out of his native town, Sierra Leone, took him directly to MIT. Tim Donner English, French, Arabic, Russian, German, Yiddish, Hebrew, Pashto, Italian, Farsi, Chinese, Turkish, Indonesian, Swahili, Hindi, and others. This kid now speaks 23 languages with varying degrees of excellence. Every language has its own aspects and beauty, Tim states. He also shared that every language takes a certain amount of effort and motivation. Tim is definitely one extremely talented person who deserves a spot in our list. Santiago Gonzalez. Santiago became a full-time college student in sixth grade when he was only 12. As a junior in the Colorado School of Mines, this extraordinary kid is expecting to earn his bachelor's degree in computer science and electrical engineering by the age of 16. Santiago will complete his master's by 17. Luckily, Santiago's teachers developed a specialized course of study to nurture his unique gifts. Hu Yifan. Born in Xinguo, China in 1994, Yi Fan is a chess prodigy. Today, she is the Women's World Chess Champion. Yi Fan won her first championship in 2010 at the age of 16. Today, Yi Fan rates as the strongest female chess player in the world according to the FIDE scoring system and world's youngest chess champion in all categories, male or female. Adam Holland. In 2008, Adam Holland, together with his younger brother Jonathan, brainstormed money-making ideas. The brothers wanted to raise money to pay for their little sister's tuition at a private school. After some informational market research, Adam successfully founded AJ's Hawaiian Ices, a company that makes shaved ice desserts. Nolan Gould when most kids his age are moving from middle school to high school, 14-years-old Nolan Gould is making history. The youngest teenager has already starred on a hit TV show. With an IQ of 150, Nolan has graduated from high school as well. Now he is starting to attract nationwide popularity for his roles in award-winning TV shows. Moshe Kai Kavalin. Working hard must be part of his mantra because Moshe enrolled in college at 8 and earned his first of two Associate of Arts degrees by 11. 
graduating with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Now 15 years of age, he's a UCLA graduate along with graduates 10 years older with a bachelor's degree in math. But his academic achievements didn't stop there. Moshe earned another master's degree in marketing just two years later from Arizona State University. In the midst of his studies, he also landed a student engineering intern position at NASA. Despite his incredible accomplishments, Moshe doesn't want to be called a genius. Today, he works as a project manager for Intel and has published two books. In addition, Moshe has won several martial arts championships, showcasing his diverse range of skills and talents. Jason Lee Jason won first prize and won $4,000 in prize money in a competition held by a San Francisco-based social media and event marketing company. As part of the competition, online viewers were asked to vote for their top 10 favorite videos. Then business and tech executives, including CEO Janine Popik, decided on the top three videos. As part of his win, Jason also earned a free trip to New York City to attend 2013 TEDx Teen. Who is the best genius? Do you know any geniuses like this? Don't forget to share your thoughts about these geniuses. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.